Hey guys, it's Bishop Delcy here, and welcome to another Manchester United episode. This is pre-season, so we better kick it off straight away with the transfers. Quite a bit of activity, actually, um, and a few surprises. Um, we'll do the ins first. Um, Thomas Jepson came in for 350k from FC Copenhagen. Um, fairly decent centre-half, 16-year-old prospect um, in the under-18s, of course. And, um, you know, for 350k... He should bring a profit, I would assume, somewhere around the 3 mil plus mark by the time he's at least, you know, 21. So, good piece of business there by me, I think. Um, probably won't ever get any game time for the first team, um, but hopefully he can progress nicely. Um, the next two players, well, the next three players, um, were all brought in because of players outgoing. So, Andri Yamalenko was up first, and he came in for 7.5 mil. Just needed him um, as a left winger, um, as we did sell Wayne Rooney, which I'll get into in a minute. But um, as you can see, he is a world-class player at 24, so he's still got a lot of potential to grow, I believe, and will probably become one of the best players in the league, um, or for us, I guess. The next player we brought in was Jan Sommer from Basel for 7.5 mil again. Um, I do have him in my AS Monaco series, um, so if you have never watched that, you should probably head over and check that out. Um, I've got about 30 episodes up, um, but anyway, as you can see, very, you know, decent first-team goalkeeper, fairly established. Um, I also needed a backup goalkeeper, so I brought in Benoit Costil um, on a free transfer just to give um, a backup goalkeeper that is fairly established, and um, yeah, his former club was Rennes. Um, I, I know him from the uh, Monaco series as well. Anyway, we're getting to the outs now. Nick Powell went out on loan to QPR for the season. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a season, and um, hopefully he'll actually do well. I think QPR, are they in the Premier League yet? No, they're not. They're still in the Championship, but anyway. Next transfer, obviously, Wayne Rooney, I mentioned it before. I was using him as a left winger last season, um, and striker as well sometimes, but he was never performing well enough for me, so I did decide to sell him. And um, yeah, I got the only offer I got was from Monaco, probably because of his wages, and they paid 10.5 mil for him, so... Pretty disappointing to lose him, but um, I didn't really see him as, you know, as a first-team player. Next player to leave was Wilfred Zaha. He went on loan to Nottingham Forest for the season, um, and hopefully, you know, can progress his his stats a bit better. Um, if he doesn't progress as much as I want him to, I might look at selling him off, um, although I know he's a very good player, and he actually does turn out quite good. So maybe he'll get a place on the bench next season, depending on how he goes at um, Forest this season. Um, PSG came in with a 32.5 mil offer for Raphael. Um, I know he's probably one of the best right-backs in the game, but I decided to sell him. I thought, you know, that's a lot of money, and um, I can probably find someone fairly similar to his attributes um, for, you know, a lot less than 32 mil. Um, then a massive list of players um, were let go on free transfers. Um, the main ones being, obviously, Vidic and probably Jesse Lindegaard, who is a fairly decent um, attacking midfield player. We also let um, Ionu, Nicholas Ionu, go out on a free transfer to Anathorzi. We let Anders Lindegaard go to Schalke for 1.7 mil. I think that was a um, loan buyout. Yeah, it was. They um, had a future fee of 1.7, so they opted to take that and bought him. And then sold Darren Fletcher for 2 mil to West Ham. Um, very much a, you know, fringe player, and um, was never going to play for me, really. Um, Angelo Henriquez went out and loaned to Sunderland for the season. I think that's a very good loan move, and um, hopefully pick up a lot of game time, um, despite his, you know, physicals going down already. Um, David De Gea... Uh, Barca came in with a $50 million offer, which obviously 295 up front, and the rest over 30 months, I think it was. So I decided to take that. I know he's an absolute beast, and he was a, probably my best player last season. Um, and at 23, he will become the best goalkeeper in the game. But I felt $50 million is a lot of money, and I kind of thought that I could bring Victor Valdez in, because they released him. But um, Valdez wanted like 250k a week, which I was not prepared to pay. So that's the reason for bringing Sommer in. Um, and obviously he's on my Monaco save, so I know what um, what he, he, he can bring to the team. So yeah, uh, we let Anka Gamine 
Anki Gamine, out on loan, never going to play for me. Um, sold Frederica Mikada to Reading for 3.3 mil. Again, pretty pretty poor. I let uh, Bulovic go out on loan to Heverin in the Dutch League. Omar Rowe went out on loan to Sheffield United for this season, or I think I think that one was six months actually. Cleverly was mutually terminated, so was Ben Amos. Um, get them off the wage bill for you know less than I would be paying them if they stayed here this season. James Wilson went out on loan to Birmingham, which I think is another good move. Um, he, I'm actually looking to bring him into the first team um, fairly soon, maybe at the age of 20, because I think he could absolutely destroy the Premier League when he develops a bit further. And finally, Tyler Blackett, decent, somewhat decent left back, um, was loaned out to Yeovil. So we brought in 79.06 mil and spent 15.18. Um, but if you see at the bottom here, I am currently trying to bring in Matteo Gavacic um, for 30 mil. I mean, he's basically does become one of the best players in the game. Um, I know this because of my Monaco save being in 2020 now. And yeah, he's an absolute beast in that save or in that series. So why not bring him in for United and, you know, he can absolutely wreck the Premier League in the future. I mean, he'll probably see... He's actually better than the players I have here um, currently based on his stats and he'll only improve at the age of 20. So that is the transfers out of the way. Um, as you can see, the friendlies, we went unbeaten. First up was Boca, our goals coming from Evans, a Yamalenko brace on his first ever, you know, in his first ever game for the club. And Kigawa played very well, I think he got man a match. We then played Arsenal, Evans and Kigawa getting our goals there. 1860 Munken, um, Van Persie, Kigawa again, nil all draw with Leicester away, Evian, 6-1 victory, Phil Jones, Fellaini, Carrick, Yamalenko, and a Hernandez brace, and then FC United, um, Michael Keane, Yamalenko missed a penalty, um, Van Persie, Yanazai, Evra, and Marta, and Hernandez, sorry, couldn't count, but yeah, 7-0 victory. So that's basically it. We've got um, Norwich in the first game. I was thinking about live comming that, but I don't think I will. Um, we've got the Champions League group stage, obviously, to be drawn. Um, and obviously we're straight into that. Hopefully we get the first seed, as I would like to be the best team in the group. Um, and hopefully we can avoid some of the uh, more tricky um, second seed teams, like Borussia Dortmund. I know they're usually a second seed team. And AS Monaco usually like third or fourth, which is pretty crazy. But anyway, that's that. Um, I want to jump into the finances quickly before I leave you. Um, we'll have a look at here. As you can see, we are predicted to make a lot of money this season, but we are currently sitting at a, just under 160 million. Actually, while I'm here, I might, might as well talk to the board. Um, I would like another feeder club. Um, I want a loan feed a loan club, but I do want to profile another country. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I also want to expand the stadium. And we'll do that, and we'll try and get that done. Can't convince. Yeah. Doesn't look like... We're selling out the majority of games first. Alright, well I won't leave that to the press because that would just be poor management on my part. Um, and I do want another contract, obviously. So that's basically going to wrap this episode up. We'll have a look at the league very quickly. Arsenal, Chelsea, City, Southampton and Newcastle have already won their games so far. So I think it's pretty imperative that I, you know, follow the trend and win our opening game against Norwich here to keep up to, to speed with the big boys up there. So I will... Actually, you know what? Why don't we check the transfers of the league? I don't actually know how to do this, but let me jump into the transfer center. Um, um, okay, I don't actually know how to do it. I, I will find that out because I would like to... Maybe it's in the Premier Division. Um, tra there we go, transfers. All right, let's have a look at these. The highest was Quadwo at Samoa from Juve to Man City for 34 mil. Obviously, Raphael and De Gea. Griezmann to Liverpool, that's an interesting one. Um, Tottenham have lost Vertonghen to Bayern. 
Ooh, Chelsea have gotten Shakiri. That's a very good signing. And Senior to City. Ugh. Benteke's gone. Matic is gone. Henderson to City, uh, to Man City. That's an interesting one. Classy in my con as well. Hmm, interesting. Farfan to Tottenham. Oh, AU to bloody Arsenal. If you've watched my uh, Monaco series, you will know that Andre AU causes me big, big problems. I don't know what it is. Might be my tactic that I use, but he always seems to rip me apart um, when he was playing for Marseille. Um, in when he well, when he is playing for Marseille in my AS Monaco series. Um, anyways, guys, going to wrap this episode up. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it, and um, if you have, please give the video a like rating. It would, you know, mean a lot to me, and it would also help more people find these videos and um, enjoy them like you guys hopefully do. Um, and head over to my channel and subscribe if you are a new viewer, and um, that should keep you up to date with these episodes. Goodbye, guys.